since you're here, I thought we'd do the box opening of my Wen 2000 watt inverter generator. Quick story, um, I bought an Apicool fridge for the, um, let me adjust you a little bit here. I bought an Apicool fridge for the, um, I know there's shadow, sorry about that, I didn't expect that. I bought an Apicool fridge for the, the uh, A-liner, and um, I don't know where I thought all the power was going to come for it. It, doesn't, it just sips power, but eventually it gets to the battery, about two days usually. And it's getting shorter because the battery's getting uh, worse. So, um, I have a plan. I'm going to add another battery over the winter. Um, hopefully I'll have a one solar panel. And I bought a generator just in case. Right at the moment, I'm probably for the last couple of um, trips this season, I'm going to um, use the generator to, to charge the batteries. Um, I've been using my truck, which is rather an expensive way to do things. So I'll have a backup generator. Eventually I'll have 100 watt solar panel and two batteries. Should be more than enough to flush the toilet, to, to run the water I mean, to flush the toilet, to run the sink, to run the lights, and to run the refrigerator. That's about all that's in there that I use power on. Okay, let's get started. It's about 40 pounds. That's how it comes box. It came box pretty good. This was, um, um, I did mine through Home Depot. I got it through Home Depot. Um, this was a pickup confirmation. It was free shipping to the store, which I like because then if something happens, you just take it back to Home Depot. Right on the front, right on the front, you got important. Add oil to engine crankcase before. Follow proper startup procedures. Read manual for details, which we're probably going to do in a moment. We're going to open it nicely packed. You've got, um, uh, I don't know what the heck. Again, with alligator clips, so I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Here we have little tools, spark plug, um, screwdriver, and I think a wrench, and a little wrench. So the tools you need to work on it, well, mine will work. Oil change, spark plug change, that kind of thing. Uh, let's pull the top out. Oh, another nice little feature. They give you, because the, um, the uh, oil fill is down on the side, they give you a little, um, give you a little oil cup. And, there's the gentleman. 40 pounds, they said. Let me get the box out of the way. Okay. Next step. Uh, And you can see that. That's the whole deal. So what I got to do now is I got to get. Um, I want to get some. Uh, for this type of stuff, my my mechanic for my wife's car uh, recommends um, the Stewart's uh, gas that has no ethanol in it. So when we're when we are able to, we're going to run it on that. Other times, we'll run it on high test, probably. Got to read the manual, and that's what we and get gas and oil for it, and then we'll do what we got to do with that. So I'll see you then. First step 
is you take this little cover off with a coin, which is nice. The old ones, they used to have to take the whole uh, deal apart. And you take your little dipstick out. And I say, say to have it as level as possible. Which I don't know what that means as possible. And they give you a nice little funnel. And you funnel in, you supply. And uh, at 40 degrees, they say um, 30 weight oil, straight 30. Uh, 40 or above. So that's what we did. So now we're going to see what happens when we pour a little oil. So take, take it slow, put it in slow. So we're going to do that. So far we're doing good. about half a quart right there. Now we're gonna, ooh, wow, that's not good. That's not good. That was half a quart, so it doesn't even take a quart of oil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that's, that's a half a quart of oil and she's pouring out, so. And it says do not fill the generator at all. We're gonna go huh? soak that table with oil and soak everything else with oil. So the interesting part of that is that the oil is full. Again, I'm gonna re-stress. It's only about a third of a quart of oil. If I had read the directions more completely, I'd be right on that. Unplug all electrical device. We've never plugged anything in. Max my safety. Be sure the generator is fully grounded. Yeah. Check the engine. That's all full. Turn the echo mode switch to off. Off. That's where we are. Turn the echo mode switch to off. Open the vacuum relief at the top of the fuel tank. That's it. That's on. Okay. This is uh, off. Shut. That's on. Okay. Turn the three and one switch to choke. Things a little tight to choke. Okay, pull handle starter handle slowly until slight resistance is felt. Then pull quick to start engine. Okay, that's on this side right here. So we pull. you hear in there. That is not bad at all. I mean, Now 
running on echo mode. So right at the moment I'm running uh, the fan and all the lights in the trailer. And that's what she sounds like. Stinks a little, she's burning off the factory oil. So. You can only stress that when you're oiling her up, ensure that you only put out, you know, maybe a third of a quart of oil is all she's going to take. The, uh, with the lights on and uh, the fan on, um, I'm getting 13 2 inside the car. 13.4 now, and I have the water pump on. And it's, uh, any questions, leave them in comment, and I'll answer them if I can. This is the WEN 2000 watt inverter generator. It won't ride there, that's where it'll sit when I'm using it. Um, it'll ride in the truck. And bring it out, set it there, start it up, set it there, and plug it in. Uh, chain it down. You can't even hear it inside. I got a carbon monoxide tester in there. I have the windows open, I have the windows shut. You don't get any carbon monoxide from it, and you can barely hear it with everything shut off in the trailer. You don't feel the vibration. Um, there's just nothing you feel from it. I usually don't have many neighbors. Um, I, st I do my main part of camping in June and September, so we'll see how it lasts. And I think we'll end this video, as Camper Van Kevin would say. We're going to end this little video right here.